Alright, so at the end of this video, I have a call of action for you, so be sure to stick around and hear the whole thing. I have an experiment for you. This is something I genuinely want you to do. I would absolutely love to hear how this goes. Go to your friends, find your five friends, um, and get them to write down their political affiliation, but keep it hidden. Then write down the three things that matter to them. In other words, the three things that over the last week or the last month that have affected their lives. Write those things down. So by the time all of that is done, you should have a list of about 10 items. Consolidate that list and get everyone to rank the items that are on that list. So of the 10 things, each person should rank the ones that are the most important to them. Once everyone has ranked the list, show them the list. After everyone sees how important the things are on that list to everyone in that group, ask them to show their political affiliation. The reason why I'm asking you to do this is because there is a very heavy emphasis on politics and political parties and these divides that come up between those parties. The ideal here is that with a little bit of luck, everyone in your group will find that they have a common set of interests. Being a Democrat or a Republican doesn't necessarily change the fact that groceries are really expensive or that people need health care. The rhetoric around politics gets so heavy that we forget this stuff. My humble goal for this is to give you the opportunity to share a positive view on politics because politics has become a very negatively charged thing, especially after the 2016 election. There has been a lot of emphasis on speaking negatively of people who don't agree with us. And the purpose of the exercise is to give you the opportunity to see that there's a lot more that we have in common than there are differences. For all people, and chances are extremely good that you and I have a lot of the same needs and wants. And if you and I don't exactly have the same needs, you're going to be very close to someone who does. Lots and lots of people struggle with childcare. Lots of people struggle with transportation. Lots of people struggle with simply having the money to afford afford the basic things in life, especially after inflation. So for this election cycle, forget the fact that you voted for one party or another traditionally, and forget the platforms that they produce, because if you go look those platforms up, they're big. Ultimately, when all is said and done, when we align ourselves with parties, we're letting others tell us what's important. No, this time I'm asking for people to decide what's important for them. The important part here is that I'm hoping that I can do my small part by persuading you to help vote towards your needs, not towards your political party. Because if everyone votes towards their needs, there's a much louder voice than if people vote for a party. If we vote for our needs, there are far more people with common needs than there are people with common parties. More importantly, if we look after two or four years or whatever the election cycle is and determine that the people who are in office haven't met our needs and have not worked towards meeting our needs, we as a people have the opportunity to kick them out. That's the beauty of voting. Think about this. If everyone did this exercise, you can imagine a day where everyone is voting based on their needs and not what others tell them are important, and then real change actually gets to happen because now the focus is not on the social issues that people tell us are important. They're the day-to-day -day life issues that we all have in common. And if we all vote towards those issues and vote for people who have our best interests in mind, we're no longer splitting our population 50-50, 60-40, what have you. We're talking about 80-90% of people who all have a common need and all have a common want. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that a wonderful idea, not having to worry about partisan politics just to get something done? That's called actual formative change. So here's my call to action for you. Go to isidewith.com and take their quiz. Put your party affiliation aside and dare to answer the questions that matter to you. Figure out which candidates actually align with your interests, your needs, and your wants. Share this video so that others can do the same things that you have, so that they have the opportunity to see that, hey, maybe their political party alignment isn't what's important. It's what your needs are relative to everyone else's. Push people to acknowledge that they have the same needs you do and vote towards those needs and we'll all be better off in the end. Just think about it. If everyone did that, change really could happen. So please share this video. Please share the ideas. Help people go out to vote. Do peaceful things to help people figure out where to vote, how to vote, and find the people who actually address their needs. If everyone does that, our country will be a better place. Thank you for watching.